Hello, I'm going to talk about how to do a quick way to make a screen for screen printing using a vinyl cutter. So we have our little picture of a Make Haven robot here, and I'm going to prepare him. Here, I'm going to just check. I've got 14 inches by 10 inches. To make designing easier, I'm going to go into Inkscape. I'm going to go into my document properties. I'm going to change it to inches if it isn't already inches. And we're going to go uh, 10 by 14. All right, this has resized our page to be um, an approximation of the size of the screen. There we go. I'm holding down Control and Shift to keep the proportions. And I'm going to place the robot there. Proportionately, I'm happy with that. We've got our robot here, but what I want to do is I want to create an inversion of the robot. So I'm just going to check, first of all, that it is one shape, not a bunch of shapes together that have been grouped. And so I'm going to go to view, split mode, split. That'll give me this drag thing. And I can see it is, in fact, one um, one object, not a bunch of grouped objects because there's not little lines intersecting everywhere. If it was a group object, I'd want to select them, choose path, and make union them until it really was just one object. Uh, the reason I'm gonna do that, and we'll take off the split mode, is because I wanna create a square. We're gonna create a negative space so that the uh, robot is cut out of the square so that the ink goes through where the robot is when we're doing the actual cut. So I'm just for clarity gonna move this to the top. So uh, that is object and raise to top. This will put the robot on top of the block. I'm gonna make the, I'm gonna make the block the scale of the page, just a little shy, because I'll fix the borders. I'm gonna make the block into uh, an object, into a path rather than just a square. Then what I do is I bring the robot in, I position it, I hold down shift to select the robot selected. Now I've selected the robot and the background. I'm going up to path, and I'm gonna choose the uh, difference right here. Now what I've created is a cutout. I've created a mask that shows the robot being the part that will be removed. Because Inkscape struggles sometimes with uh, having SVGs go into our vinyl cutting program, I'm gonna save this as an EPS. Well, save EPS. It's in there somewhere, EPS, official robot, save, save, replace the one that I did earlier. All right, now we're gonna come over into LXI, uh, Vinyl Expert. This is the same program you would have learned about in your vinyl cutting badging. We are going to import that inverted image that we had just created. So import. Here's our Make Haven robot. I'm gonna to go to cut. Now here's a good place to confirm our sizes, just in case something was lost. We see it is 14 and we see it is 10. Uh, you'd follow the instructions just like anything else where you're going to figure out the size of your vinyl. So I'm gonna just do a quick measurement here. Looks like we have 14 uh, inches of vinyl width wise and we have a very long roll so my width i'm going to set it to 14 and that gives us a better preview i might move it to the center just for ease and i am going to reverse it as a mirror that is because we are putting it on the bottom of this and so we want it both inverted as far as what parts can be cut and also the mirror so we set the mirror. The program has not added weeding lines at this point. 
maybe because it's an internal shape, but I'm gonna use my second mouse button, the one that's on the right hand side, and it brings up this menu when you click on here. And I'm gonna add a few lines just to make it easier to weed. And I can move them around, or adjust them, a vertical line. Uh, that's probably sufficient, but you may, for your particular design, want to add some other ones just to make it easy. Uh, this brings us to the point, we've checked our size, we've lined things up. Uh, You'd follow the regular format for uh, cutting it out on the vinyl cutter. So we'll go ahead and fast forward through that. Now we go about the business of weeding, just like you'd weed any vinyl project, but remember to weed out the design that you want to print. So in this case, I'm going to be uh, removing the part that looks like our little robot. I'm cutting this so that it will fit neatly on the screen without big floppy edges. Just like with any other vinyl project, you're going to employ transfer tape. Especially important since we have letters and other floating objects that need to be carefully transferred. So I'm going to put this on the transfer tape. This transfer tape uh, is clear. However, you might see more masking tape like opaque tape that is more commonly used. I'm going to peel the backing off of the vinyl. Oh, being careful to keep all of the parts that we want to keep. With some careful peeling, we now have our robot shape, and we are going to apply it to the, uh, trying to align it. We're on the side where the screen is on top, and we are going to align it as best we can to the uh, edges evenly. And we're gonna do the same thing that we do when we apply vinyl which is try and start from the top and come down, making a nice smooth connection. Uh, not maybe as much pressure as you're using on a major one. transfer tape. And now you have your finished vinyl cut screen print. Uh, just to remember that when you're washing or cleaning this, you may well damage it. So this may not have the durability that you're used to in a photographic process. Enjoy printing.